The main reason to be here today is to show to people we may have a Japanese name, but we believe Europe and the UK are one of the biggest markets in the world at the moment. It's great to be here this year uh, at Intran showing off our technology and development for social innovation. And here we can see our latest CBTC technology, which is communication-based train control, which is going to be used in metro, in cities, and around the world. It gives great throughput for the passenger numbers. It's absolutely imperative to get them complete journey time and a quality of journey. It's actually a significant experience of delivering trains around the world, particularly in Japan, where we built the first Shinkansen trains. As much as quality of work is concerned, trains in Japan are a standard. We also built the majority of the signalling systems that control the trains in the Tokyo metropolitan area, as well as in, in the UK with our, our new suite of trains we have here. And the real benefit we can bring is a whole range of projects and products that can support these, these new requirements. So be it a new high-speed train, be it a commuter train, be it a signalling control system, we have a solution that can cover the whole range of issues. What we like to give people is a good environment where they can relax, where they can tune in to whatever they wish to, be it music, be it the internet. Commuting should not be a chore, it should be a very good experience and we believe our technology and our new product and forward thinking can deliver that to the travelling public. This 8200 commuter mock-up shows our design for trains of the future. We're hoping to bring this exact type of train to the market in the UK, ready for potentially 2017. It contains a number of new features, sensors in the seats which detect whether somebody is sitting there, lots of TFT high definition displays within the train instead of dot matrix indicators. We have a built-in seat reservation system to every seat on this mock-up. You can see it with the traffic light systems on the top of each seat. The design of the train has been executed such that all the fixtures and fittings, seats, draft screens have all been fixed to the body side. We believe that it's possible now to have a heated floor within the train and hopefully may replace the body side heating that sort of cooks your ankle. Our new Intercity Express train is a bimo train so it's, it's powered by a diesel engine as well as being electrically powered but it accelerates a lot quicker and has a higher top speed than the existing trains as well. What I like very much is the enthusiasm of the engineers to look ahead, to enthusiastically embrace a new project and say, we would like to do that. That is something which is interesting for us. And the Hitachi design team had the same characteristics. Let us do something new. And this interrelationship of cultures, of professional specialization, is something which I think made it very pleasant, very interesting for me to work for Hitachi. What we offer is a collaborative environment. We work with all of our stakeholders and the customers to deliver what people want, not what the contract demands. The big challenge for Hitachi is to start building up connection with the different railway authorities. It's a long-term project. We prefer to make partnerships with our customers rather than having a contractual relationship. And in that way, we can understand over the long term the requirements of our stakeholders and make sure that we can work closer together and we can deliver something which actually matches their requirements rather than having to revisit it later on. Our future really is all about expansion, both in the UK and Europe. We also want to break into the different markets, from signalling to traffic management. There is plenty of work out there. It's a very competitive environment, but we do intend to make a success of this business in the UK and Europe.